Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So Hot Toys have announced two different Heath Ledger Jokers, uh, both DX. Now I haven't really paid any attention to the pictures yet, I wanted to just put them all up on the screen and see them for the first time as I'm talking about them here and just share my thoughts. So this one is the one with the rooted hair, has separate eyeball rolling system and two styles of expression, one with the tongue, one without, I guess it's like a magnet tongue maybe, uh, wool hair and all kinds of accessories. The base looks quite nice, although there doesn't seem to be a stand uh, included in any of the images. And with his turned up toes at the front of his shoes, that's going to make it very difficult to trust him when it comes to standing on his own. That's always the way with Heath Ledger Joker because of the design of his shoes turning up at the front. All the weapons, all the cards, all the money, all the hands. Uh, yeah, it really does look good. Now, obviously, with the in art figure, Everyone was expecting Hot Toys to come out with their reply to that. And this looks good. We're going to look at the rooted... Well, this is the rooted hair version first. And then after that, we're going to check out the sculpted hair version. And I've also thrown in a bunch of reference pictures of Heath here uh, for the screen test of the Dark Knight. So we can get a good look at how the clothing looks, the colouring, his hair, his hairline, the makeup. I think the hairline on this is not 100% accurate. I think there's a bit too much hair, especially in the middle at the top of his head. Um, it looks good, but I think the hairline, as you can see here, I don't know. I'm going to have a good look here with you guys, and you can let me know what you think in the comments. Also, check out the weathering around his coat there. That doesn't seem to be on the figure. They should have done that. You know, why not go all the way? If you're really trying to answer back and say, no, we're still the best, uh, even though this is like the sixth or seventh Joker, or maybe if there's two versions, I guess it'd be like the eighth Joker, I don't know. Uh, you can see the orange kind of lining inside his coat and his jacket. Originally, you can see just through his legs there, it does look orange, the lining, so that's pretty cool. There does, is there weathering on that coat? Maybe, slightly. Uh, again, too much hair, I think. And uh, OT Customs, the guy who does the amazing Dark Knight and Batman Begins custom head sculpts, I saw him say that he's always thought the in art Joker head sculpt was a bit oversized and he didn't like the kind of deep set eyeballs. And I did notice the eyeball thing myself when the pictures started coming out. And I did always think, is the head a little bit too big? So I totally agree with OT Customs, what he said about the in art version. There's a really good reference picture. Notice how purple the coat is. Although this is uh, probably, you know, got some saturation and contrast stuff going on. Maybe to make it look darker. But again, the weathering on that coat, it does not seem to be present on the figure. Also the colour. I don't know. That may be an accurate colour for the coat, how it really was in real life. But it just seems dull to me. Like, I don't know. You've got wire in the collar, which is cool. I like that. That allows you to get a really nice realistic kind of sit. Hand stitched four hole buttons, movie accurate form fitting cutting. Yep. Again, more pictures of Heath. So, I mean, you can see it, it's not perfect. The way Hot Toys are kind of trying to make everything look perfect, everything sits perfectly. It's not how it was. And again, a little bit too much hair on the head sculpt in that picture to the left. It just looks, there's too much of it. He was thinning. The hairline ain't too bad looking at it there. Not mad at the hairline, but I do think there's a little bit too much hair there. Maybe you could remove some of it yourself very carefully. The material of his coat on that close-up back there looks like the same kind of bathrobe material from the DX11. Speaking of the DX11, that's an old figure now, but this is a DX as well that's coming out soon. Uh, but the DX11 Joker... He came with two head sculpts with two completely different expressions and the diorama of the interrogation room with the table, chairs and the walls and the door. Incredible set. Um, that expression there kind of reminds me of the DX01. Another picture of Heath. See the hairline there? See how far back it goes back at the kind of peak at the sides? And the colour of it. Again, the weathering on that coat. Yeah, see, when you see it, side by, it's just not, it's not right, is it? I know everyone's going to be looking at this thing, and this looks incredible, I need to get it, and fair play to you, and I probably would too, if I didn't already have a Heath Ledger Joker that I'm happy with. It's a great option, and if you have the in-art figure, and this upcoming Hot Toys DX, then you could maybe mix and match parts and try and create the ultimate Joker, 
somewhere between the two figures it's probably there somewhere <sighs> I don't know man I don't really like that hair it looks like seaweed um, I don't like the way it looks there I don't like the color I know uh, they're trying you can see there's different tones going on there but I just don't mind you next to this there's a lot of bright light on Heath here you can tell it's really lit up I mean I still think the Hot Toys hair looks a bit seaweedy but then again I probably said that about the uh, sculpted hair of the in art head sculpt I never really liked the sculpted hair on the in art version but I'd have to go back and look at the in art figure and compare the hair to these pictures but I'm just not I don't know man it does look quite close strangely enough that's why it's a good thing I had these real pictures of Heath you know in between all the Hot Toys pictures it does seem similar very similar in color but it's just a bit thick a bit too much of it but I think that's stuff you could probably work around it looks like the hairline sculpted and then the hair attaches to it they've glued it onto the sculpted beginnings of the hair root um, yeah the color of his gloves there you can get a good look let's get a look at the hot toys hands now in a little while so the texture of the skin it's good man it is good it's definitely an option that's for sure it's better than the quarter scale figure they did I ended up selling that that's a good reference picture just for seeing how that coat hangs at the back look at the weathering on his shoes uh, so the gloves seem to be to me anyway they're looking a bit more kind of navy blue purple they didn't seem like that in the pictures we just saw of Heath in person like in the screen test here you can see they're like a very light kind of purple his teeth are very yellow <laughs> Let's get a look at the Hot Toys teeth in a minute if we can and uh, see uh, are they that yellow because that's that's some yellow teeth right there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's good, it's good. I've owned them all, all the Hot Toys Heath Ledger figures apart from the second Bank Robber Joker they did because I probably still had the original one at the time and just didn't really just think it was necessary but yeah i've owned them all apart from the second bank robber joker and they've all been great for the time you know and obviously i didn't think it was even possible i remember like five years ago even longer than that looking at some of the stuff that was being released thinking how can it get much better than this but they always find a way and the competition from in art is kind of kicking hot toys up the arse and into doing you know working harder and and trying to still remain top top dogs in the one six scale world I guess they're trying to show you there that he's able to balance on one foot. <laughs> I think that's about as dynamic as the pose is getting in these pictures. The base is nice, but again, no sign of a... Maybe it's a magnet situation. So as long as he's got really nice stiff ankles, then a magnet, you know, that could work quite well in that base. Uh, just, again, very yellow teeth. I really want to get a good look at the head sculpt by Hot Toys and see how yellow the teeth are. I'm just waiting for one of those pictures to come up because I've already put all the pictures in. I just have to respond to what's coming up in front of me and I've got it full screen so I can't see what's coming up. It's just whatever comes up next. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, you really do need to do some weathering and some just treat the coat like crap really just mangle it up in your hands and just squish it and just make it look nasty it's just way too straight and clean and nice here man and again volume of the hair how much of it there is it's a great sculpt and uh, yeah I don't know I'm a perfectionist I know everyone is really when it comes to collecting their one six scale figures they want the best of the best you know get the ultimate version on the shelf or in the details and be done with it move on to the next thing but i don't think this is looking at that hair i mean come on that's we're not there yet with hot toys they've tried they've maybe scrambled and rushed up that hill trying to get back to the top again but 
I think they definitely should have taken a bit more time right over this black screen represents the change now to the sculpted hair version and here we are I prefer the sculpted hair I think I prefer the sculpted hair of the hot toys to what I remember seeing with the in art sculpted hair joker is there anything else that's different here? We got the moving eyes, we got the change of expression. Yeah, so I'd go with this one. If I was going to get one, I'd just stick with the. Because I have a custom head of Heath Ledger as the Joker with rooted hair, and I'm happy with that one. So I would probably go sculpted on this choice, to be honest with you. Although, like I said, you could probably mess around with the rooted hair one and get it looking a lot better. So. Yep, holding on to the cards. Got a wire in the coat from the looks of things as well as the collar, as we saw earlier. Um, yeah, looks very, very... I saw someone say specifically about that picture, he looked very real. I'd agree with that. Yep, yeah, the hair length is good, the hairline's good, the colour's pretty decent. It doesn't look too much like seaweed, which is a lot of the problem with a lot of these lately. This one ain't too bad. Very curious about that tongue situation, whether it's a magnet or not. It must be, right? I mean, it's got to be a magnet. Yeah, you just need to weather up that coat. That looks pretty good. Hit me. That's the hit me moment. It's pretty cool. Would have been nice if they went with nice strong magnets for the hand changing over. I think that's what Inart did. I never got to see the Inart Joker in person, but pretty sure it was magnet based changing over the hands that looks a, that's a great picture that might be the best picture of the bunch the whole lot everything that might be the best picture what do you think i think that looks very good yeah sculpted hair version all the way so far that coat looks kind of weathered there in places as well gold chain dangling all right here we go so we got uh, yeah, lining with movie accurate colors and patterns. Wired coat allows posing freely. It does look like the same material as the DX11, which I never liked. It looks very similar. Maybe not as intensely bathrobish as the DX11, but it's still in that territory. Looks like it. Nice weathering at the bottom of the coat. See that? Just not enough around the the collar really and the shoulders. I wonder. You got time, Hot Toys? Fix that. Just. Just go a little bit heavier with the weathering on the coat. Mess them up a little bit. Because the head sculpt says messed up to me. I think the rest of him doesn't follow through with what the head sculpt is trying to portray. It seems to me like you just need a bit more weathering on him. On the coat. And you'll be there with this version. Yeah, your teeth look pretty yellow. Here's the tongue again. Yeah, i got to say from these pictures... I would go with the sculpted hair version and I may very well get it just to try and you know bash together something special have some fun weathering the figure weathering the coat separate eyeball uh, rolling system two styles of expression yeah I could take or leave the tongue thing I know we've done it a lot in the movie but that hasn't um, been one of the things that I've seen in these pictures where it's like oh wow the tongue I just don't know it's cool it's a great option Especially if it's a little magnet that just attaches where his teeth are there. All the same features as the rooted hair version, really. Just different hair setup. Is it the same sculpt? I didn't check that. I should have put two pictures side by side of the rooted hair sculpt and the sculpted hair and see is it exactly the same. It does seem very similar. Again, I really like the sculpted hair in that picture too, to the left. That's a nice hand expression there as well, just kind of moving the fingers. Even the relaxed hand looks really good. They're really well sculpted there. So, which version are you going for? I think it, didn't it say exclusive on the rooted hair version? So that would be more expensive or harder to get or rarer? I don't know. But I'd go for this one personally. Even around the teeth where they kind of meet the gum, you can just see the fine detail there. Eyes look decent. I wish there was a much closer up photo of just the face, like really like macro get in there. Show us the eyes, the pupils, the teeth. They're keeping a kind of a safe distance. 
don't really like the glowing bat symbol, I prefer just the street. There's our tongue again. <laughs> Head that's here. I guess it's all about lighting and the angle, but it's starting to look a bit seaweedy now, the sculpted hair in that picture. Not all of these pictures, I think, are the best. Some of them are really good, like the one I said earlier. And this is the last one, I remember that, so I'm going to wrap it up, folks. Yeah, sculpted hair would be my choice. They both look good. There's, there's potential there. And a lot of fun to be had, I'm sure. Let me, yeah, <laughs> lots of options for Joker figures. Let me know your thoughts. Drop a like on it for me. Share it around. Subscribe. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.